All right, Thursday's edition here of Collada and the Prince, the vlog. Very informative show today. Went back down to New Orleans and caught up with Fox 8 sports reporter Sean Fazan on more news from the New Orleans Saints. Mickey Loomis spoke yesterday on Sirius XM Radio. We had a lot of sound from there. Antonio Blakeney, one of the headline guys of this LSU basketball recruiting class, along with Benny Simmons, stopped in. If you didn't catch the interview, you need to go on to log on to 1045ESPN.com and check out the podcast. Real humbled, kind of grounded kid who's going through a lot, a lot of attention coming his way, playing in the Jordan brand all-star game, also going to be a McDonald's All-American. Ryan Rosillo stopped by from uh, SVP and Rosillo that you can catch 1-3 to three here on uh, 104.5, 104.9 ESPN. And Baton Rouge. the biggest thing on the show today, I successfully executed pronouncing bulging disc. Who was that one? Hunter Doming? Brady Doming. Brady Doming. Um... LSU uses 11 pitchers last night to beat McNeese. Excellent sound bite from the skipper pulmonary. Um, but they go into conference play. Starts yeah. on Friday. Uh, they ready for this? You know, Jordy, I think that, that earlier in the season when they lost that, that game to Nichols, you know, a lot of people, and I know, specific, I remember specifically listening to Charlie and Jimmy talking about this is a team that's going to lose about three or four games heading into conference play. They only lost one. They rebounded from that. They went on the road this past weekend over to, to the Houston College Classic played some really good teams, won some close games. I think this is about as good as you can expect the the young guys on this team to be seasoned enough heading into this conference opener this weekend. Anytime Ole Miss comes into the box, it's going to be a huge deal. Mike Bianco's teams are always really well prepared. Playing Ole Miss this early in the season – you play them at the box, which is always an advantage. And with the young guys and the, and the way that they've advanced and prepared, I think LSU's ready for this, ready to open conference play. What do you think of Antonio Blake? And he stopped by at 7.30 this morning. Spent about 15 minutes with us, kind of going through his off season now that started. They got knocked out of the Florida State playoffs um, a, a couple of weeks back. And you know, look, we're going back and forth with David Patrick, and, and Patrick can't come on air and talk about him specifically. But they're as fired up about Blake and he as they are about Benny. Yes. I mean, it, it, look, when Benny Simmons came on with us, one of the first things that jumped off was how mature he was, how seasoned he was at handling media and talking about things. Same thing with Blakeney today. You know, we asked him, hey, if, if LSU gets Malik Newman to, to come in and play with you, how you, how are you going to shape up the backcourt? He immediately says, well, you still got Josh Gray and Keith Hornsby and Tim Quarterman. That's a mature way to handle that for a young guy. Not a guy who's coming in and saying, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a guy who's one and done and I'm gonna, you know, you know, win the, the the Naismith and do everything else. No, this is a guy who's coming in and talking about the team aspects. Man, that's great to hear because we know what kind of player he is. That's one of the things that you always get in recruiting is that you watch the videos, you see the highlights, you see him in person, you see what, they, what how their game is. You know what kind of player he is. It's these kind of little peaks behind the curtain where you can see just how mature he is really gets you some insight into who he is. Yeah, you want to learn more, check out on YouTube the uh, documentary Be Great with Antonio Blake, and he is astounding uh, as far as you just a behind-the-scenes look at who the kid is and the type of work ethic he has. And the love for the game of basketball. Uh, we had some breaking news coming in that DeMarco Murray will visit Philadelphia today with Chip Kelly up there uh, in Philly. Ryan Rosillo stopped by uh, and gave really good insight on Chip Kelly and what he's got going on. And look, you have an opportunity to possibly put Murray back together with his high school team or with his college teammate in Sam Bradford. Yeah, uh, that that would be really be interesting there. And, and and Ryan said something on the show today that that I've, I said you know since since the deal happened. I like it from the perspective that when you see where Bradford was the most successful in college, it was running uh, some spread principles and, and doing some things to create some space for some receivers and everything else. Also, that Rams offensive line was pretty bad. And Philadelphia's got one of the better offensive lines in the NFL. I'd like to see what, what happens with that. Look, I'll tell you this much. We have no shortage of, uh, of topics to talk about when it comes to the NFL offseason. There's still things like Indomitian and Sue getting $100 million that we haven't even mentioned on our show. C.J. Spiller in New Orleans today. We talked to Sean Fazan from Fox 8 Sports uh, down in New Orleans. Uh, you like the fit? Down in New Orleans where the Blues was born? I'll, I, look, if they sign C.J. Spiller, that, that's a really good move there. Uh, I would want to see what the you know, what the dollar figure is, uh, especially after you've, you got you got Mark uh, Ingram 
at uh, four million dollars a year for the next four years. I don't know how much money they would have to spend in the running back position, specifically when you know they need to advance what they what they have on defense. Uh, but with those three top forty five picks, uh, you can address some 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 needs there. Uh, but I, I certainly know that adding some complimentary pieces around Drew Brees is something that they want to do offensively. Check out the podcast online, 1045ESPN.com. Listen to us Monday through Friday, 7 and 9 a.m. Follow us on Twitter at 1045ESPN. Collada and the Prince, weekdays right here on the Capital City's Best in Sports Talk, 1045, 1049 ESPN Baton Rouge.